Hey y'all, my name is Matt. Today we want to tackle the topic of Bible translations. If you've been to any kind of store lately, you know that it's kind of overwhelming to pick a Bible translation, an English translation. Um, but all of us have to do it. You know, the Bible is written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, and most of us today aren't fluent in any of those languages, so we have to pick an English translation. So what's the best one for us? Um, this is a very individual question, but it's something that gets asked a lot at church because everybody has a different one, it seems like, sometimes. Uh, you go to a Bible study and somebody starts reading, and it's different than yours. And, you know, there's things that you like about that. There's things that you don't like about it. But um, there's some things that we can do that are going to help simplify our search for our own Bible translation, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, the first thing that we need to know when dealing with Bible translations is how the Bible was translated. Um, typically, any of our uh, well-known, reputable translations, such as the NASB, ESV, uh, the New Living, which is the NLT, NIV, any of these translations are going to have a group of people, scholars, that sit down and they translate the Bible. Um, they take the old manuscripts, the ancient manuscripts, oldest ones that they have for reliability, and they go through and they translate it. And if you've ever taken any kind of language classes, you know that that's definitely something that's a lot easier said than done. Um, as you begin translating, you know, sometimes there's words that we don't have in English that they had in Hebrew or Greek. Sometimes words like love, for instance. Uh, in Greek, there's like five different ways that, you know, five different words they could pick for love. We have one. And so it's hard to uh, truly get the, uh, the meaning accurately conveyed on the paper. And so that's why we have developed all these different translations, because each different translation basically adopts a different philosophy. Uh, most of the reputable ones are trying to be as close and as accurate to the original manuscripts as they can. They just have different philosophies, different motivations. Um, one of them may want their Bible to be easier for the lay person to read. One may want it to be uh, a more uh, accurate to the original manuscripts. And that's where the differences come from. Um, as you're going to see in the chart below in the red, um, this is the word for word translations. Um, these translations are basically where the scholar basically goes through the Bible word for word and translates it as accurately as they can to the original text. One of the uh, drawbacks to word for word is while it's fairly close to the original languages, it's also kind of hard to read sometimes. Um, if you've picked up the King James um, NASB, ESV, if you're not used to reading your Bible, it can be kind of difficult to understand. It doesn't flow as smoothly as translations like the NLT. And that's why, because when they're translating it, they're trying to keep it as accurate to the original words used in the original manuscripts as possible. Um, in green, in the middle, you're gonna see translations like uh, CSB, uh, the NIV, the NLT. And these are the translations where they uh, go through and they translate word for word, but they put a little more uh, of their own thought, per se, into it as they uh, translate to help make it flow as smooth as they can. Um, a lot of these groups, uh, the scholars, they'll go through and they have a team and they'll translate it, keep it as accurate to the text as they can. I think the NLT actually, after that, they take it and they send it to uh, somebody else that's gifted in, you know, smoothing it out, making it something that's easy to read. And if you read the NLT, you can see that. It's a very easy to read translation. Uh, it's much easier than the NASB. And then on the, the far end, we'll see the paraphrase. Um, the paraphrase isn't really a translation. Uh, it's on the chart because it's something we need to talk about. But um, the message is the biggest paraphrase that's out there right now. And there's nothing wrong with reading a paraphrase, but when you read it, you just have to keep in mind what it is and understand what it is. A paraphrase is actually where somebody does just as the title says. They, uh, they're fluent in Hebrew and Greek, and they go through, and as they translate it, they basically paraphrase it in their own language. And while this is okay to read on occasion, um, the message is a beautiful text to read. It's very poetic. It flows smooth. The danger in that is we uh, also get that person that wrote its uh, interpretation and their thoughts into it as well. So when we read the Bible, we want to try to keep it as close to the original text as we can to uh, keep the integrity of what God gave us uh, to be able to read it as accurately as possible. But um, as long as you buy any of these reputable um, translations, either thought for thought or word for word, uh, you'll be fine. Most of these are, are done by great scholars. Uh, some of them even share different scholars. They're just different teams that were put together, like we said, for different reasons. Um, but 
These are things to keep in mind when you're picking your new Bible. But ultimately, uh, my suggestion is buy more than one. Use an app on your phone where you can uh, have access to multiple um, translations, reputable translations. And go back and forth and read them. There's nothing wrong with uh, reading a chapter in your Bible in the NASB and then going to the NLT and reading it again in there to see um, how it's different, you know, how, it, how they use different words. And uh, as we get further on into these studies, we'll actually talk about how to go deeper than that, but that's for a different day. So the things to keep in mind, just make sure you get a good reputable translation and get one that you're going to read. That's the most important part. Just get one that you're going to read. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with your friends. I love you all. Blessings.